If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. Uh, the S links are important to this game. And that's the reason why. Yay. Cuts down grinding time. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Yep. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Which is a double-edged sword. <clears throat> Please see me when you wish to use it. Uh, what it lets you do is it uh, lets you register your pers the, per the version of the persona that you have over the original version of, of the persona. So if I level up uh, is uh, Izanagi to level 12 or something, then throw and throw him in overwrite his overwrite his uh, his entry. He's, he's he's level 12 in the entry now. He doesn't um he doesn't I I can't recall the default one anymore and it just costs me extra money to do it. So I don't usually register persona unless I'm going to be getting rid of them to, for a fusion and I still want the version that I have afterward. Then I then I, I register them, but otherwise I tend not to. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The same ones that have been repeated the last five or six times? The coming year is a turning point no. in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh no, you haven't repeated that to me. But yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Uh, failing to save someone also results in a game over. But you get to restart from your last... From, I think, the day before. So you have, like... So it gives you, like, the ability to replay the last day uh, like infinite times, I think. I've always managed to save them. As I save them as soon as possible. Probably isn't the right way to do to do the game, but eh, it's the way that I play the game. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. I don't think that I will, Igor. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Creepy, creepy man. Anyway, here we are at the shopping district. There's a bookstore, which I don't think is useful to me. Not yet. The man's life. Uh, reading books in your room, which we'll be able to do, uh, raises your raises your stats. Uh, the tofu is important to the story later on. The uh, shiroku store. That is your. That's the. It's the item shop. But we don't need any items right now. We're pretty good with these medicines. This is the Aya, which is uh, which lets you eat to raise your stats. In the in, on rainy days, it's a three thousand yen uh, bowl that raises a lot of your stats. It's quite good. Here's the job board. We can't use it yet. Uh, the that I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Probably could. I just don't want to fumble on camera. Um, that you, lets you buy smaller health recovery items that are slightly cheaper than the um, than the item store, but heal a lot less. On rainy days, it, you can buy a stronger version of what they have. The shrine, useless for right now. Very good later. Textiles, useful for story. Um, never again before or after that. And the liquor store, which is never useful. All right, let's go to Juness. Yes. Yep, that's it. No, oh, my cat's lying on her back. It's very cute. You really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. You look badass. Stop talking. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. Alright, let's get going. 
Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going. Now let her come. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? Now, unfortunately, you guys will have to deal with a little bit of grinding, and I apologize for that. But, um, I'll need to get to level 6 before a certain floor. I guess I should... Whoa, it really is that bear from last time. I'll explain that better when we get to the, uh, to, to the actual dungeon. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. You're doing it very dramatically, I see. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. <sighs> hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> it was horrible. <sighs> uh, I agree with you, SK. So, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! Well, it, well, it, it, it was, Teddy. It's not... You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow. There's a girl with a better nose than me? No. What's your name, miss? Morana. Miss? Oh, I'm Chie. But never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? How would he know? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Can you, can, can you take us that way? Is everyone ready? I think so. Yeah. place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. It yeah, might be. That would make sense. And I told you before, there's only me and Shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. The beginning of time... and space. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? Fair point. I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. It's not like her at all. Score? Stud? <laughs> You're just confusing Teddy, Chie. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder... Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? Oh, that, 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 might, that might be true. There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. That would make sense. Kind of. Much as anything else. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Ugh, I don't get this at all. Well, Jan, join the club, GA. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? 
I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? <sighs> Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Denied. Hey. Hey, wait, don't go alone! Ugh. Jeez, we better follow her. Yeah. Oh, do I have the option? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, so better go safer then. Um, am I able to leave? No, I I can't go get Yosuke's weapon. Eh, he'll be fine though. As long as he has Garu. Sweet. Sweet. Now those uh those items he gave us the second batch of items are uh, low strength recovery items. They're not really that great, but they're good enough. Cause we're still at the little level. Oh, good. Yes. Um blah 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 blah. Yes, we can attack now. See? Attack. And if we attack a shadow before it sees us, we can get the first action in battle. That is a shadow. I'm trying to hold back sneezing until I can mute the mic without... Come on, turn around already. Goo. Aha! Oh, it's these things. Three enemies, but they're too slow. We'll handle them the same way we handled them before. Go, Sensei! You knocked it down! Nice! Go, Sensei! That's you knocked it down! You hit its weakness! All right. One for all and all for one! This is an all-out attack. When every enemy is knocked down through weak, through weak through weak attacks or through them missing, you can activate this all and you have and you have a team of more than one, which I do. You can execute an all-out attack, and what it does is that heavy damage to all enemies. Congratulations, Sensei! We need, to, we need to hit level 6 before we uh, go up to the next floor. Like I said way too early the last time. Like I said way too early. And the camera controls will mess me up for, for, for the first bit because it's inverted from how it's supposed to be. Like, left is right, right is left. It's very awkward. Like, like the camera is a physical entity that I'm controlling instead of, like, just head turning, I guess. How it should be. Aha! See, it's very easy to get the jump on your enemies in this game. Two enemies, you can attack before them. And main character, he can use up all of his MP now. No, sensei, you knocked it down. Nice. Because main character doesn't need his MP for the next boss. Go, sensei, you knocked. Okay. Death. It took lots of fights to end like this. Or follow that same formula. I thought Yosuke was going to level up. Well, we both need to be level 6 before uh, we can continue. What level? Okay, 70 more for me, and then however many more for Yosuke. Alright. I tend to explore down uh, one solid hallway before I go into the other doors. Ah, chest. Chests have items. Uh, in some cases, good items like the like like that the revi the revival bead. So those are handy in case I decide to start failing. Oh, and uh, these these are the stairs up. We're not gonna go there yet. We have stuff to do. 